AMD's next-gen Arctic Islands family of FinFET GPUs has been leaking all over the place this year. Now, you may remember that one of these leaks indicated that the family contains three GPUs, codenamed Greenland, Ellesmere, and Baffin. And today, I have the pleasure to confirm that this information is in fact accurate, but both Ellesmere and Baffin have in fact taped out our unawaiting commencement of FinFET process volume production, which should kick off next year. Now, according to a source with knowledge of AMD's roadmap, AMD has also managed to secure a major OEM design win with both Alzmir and Baffin GPUs. So, Arctic Islands will basically be debuting with those three GPUs and a variety of SKUs which will address the entire discrete GPU market from the top to the bottom. Now, of course, we have seen AMD do this 3 GPU strategy before with the very first 28 NM GPUs, which were Southern Islands, or more accurately in terms of the actual customer name was HD 7900 series, 7800 and 7700 series. Now, of course, this does line up with a report that I discussed yesterday, or more properly, Paul discussed it, excuse me, that there'll be 14NM and 16NM Arctic Island GPUs coming out next year. So, of course, this information does line up with that report. And, of course, you may remember as well that Lisa Su, who, of course, is the CEO of AMD, said that their next generation of GPUs in 2016 are designed to improve performance per watt by two times compared to their previous offerings. And of course, this is based on enhancement as well as advanced FinFET process technology. Now, Arctic Islands is going to be planned at least to have some rather major improvements over the current R300 and Fury series that they have going. Now, these of course include HBM2, third generation GCN architecture, as well as a more advanced 14 16 NM FinFET manufacturing process. And basically, AMD are hoping that these three will define the performance and power efficiency characteristics of Arctic Island GPUs. Now, what's making me really intrigued and kind of curious as to what's going to happen is that, of course, next year we will be getting NVIDIA's Pascal GPUs, which will also be produced using TSMC 16NM FinFET process and also be featuring HBM2. So basically, there's going to be quite a battle between AMD and NVIDIA. And it sounds like it's going to be a fierce one if these particular sources and whatnot are accurate as of course none of this has been super super confirmed this is just from an inside source so do take with a pinch of salt i'm fairly confident that this is accurate but of course unless it comes from the mouth of the company i'm always a little cautious just to say hey do keep this in mind regardless of all that though thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed i'll see you next time